Hi, my name is Angus Ho with Daddy Debt, a part of the Ash Management Group. I want to show how you can budget as a full-time engineer, make real estate investments, and live an exceptional family life as a dad. So, come along with me in this journey of wealth. I love the Ash Method so much that almost in every video, I talk a little about it. I do a very short blurb about it, but I never really go into much detail about it. The ASH method stands for Accumulate Save House. I use it all the time to grow my wealth. Tell others how I do it and it's an easy to remember acronym to keep me motivated. So with that being said, I want to dive a little deeper into one part of the ASH method. So in this video, I want to dive a little bit deeper into the Accumulate part of the ASH method. Keep an eye out for the save and the house videos. We can all use some extra cash, am I right? And there are lots of ways to make it. We found the best money making ideas and smart ways to increase your income. So in this video, we found the best money making ideas and smart ways to increase your income. At a certain point, you can't save any more money. There just isn't anything left to cut. And really, Saving money is not nearly as impactful as making more. So whether you want to increase your income to pay off debt, save for a home, take a vacation, or retire early, we have ways to do it. Accumulate in the ASH method is all about having a high income skill or having multiple streams of income. Accumulate is about the ability to raise capital. So, in this video, I want to share with you some of the ways you can make more income, how much income you will need to reach your goals, and I want to share with you what it looks like for me to accumulate. Stay tuned as accumulate requires lots of time, and when done right, you'd be surprised how easy it is. One of the most common ways to accumulate is by smashing that like button. That's right. The more people you get to smash that like button, the faster you will accumulate wealth. How does it work, you say? Well, it's in the YouTube algorithm, you see. No one really knows except YouTube. However, by my experience, one small click on that like button is definitely the first step to success. Alright, in all seriousness though, the easiest and most common way to accumulate wealth is by getting a high income career. The easiest way to achieve this is getting a post-secondary education, build a career and acquire more specialized knowledge. You are already spending a big chunk of your day at your job, so you might as well get the most out of it you can. To get paid more in the career, try filling the void. Look around your workspace and identify jobs that no one wants to do. Even better if they are things your boss doesn't want to do and start doing them. Don't wait to be asked to do them, just dive in and do them. Doing the scut work is what makes you indispensable at a job. The next common way to accumulate more wealth is having multiple streams of income. By having a side hustle, there are dozens of side hustles, so there's guaranteed to be one of them that you are good at, or at least to start doing and get good enough at that, people would pay you money to do it. If you want more information about good side hustles, I encourage you to look into a video I made here. In this video, I tell you some of the highest paying side hustles to help you accumulate wealth faster. Now, let's go over an example using numbers. I find that having a concrete example really helps visualizing the accumulate method of the ASH method. What is your goal? Is it to reach fire in 10 years? Is it to have a down payment for a house in one year? Let's say I want to have a saving goal of $1 million by 40 or maybe a $60,000 down payment in one year. What does that accumulate look like per month? For the fire goal, it would be $8,333 per month, and for the down payment goal, it would be $5,000 per month. Now that we got our goal settled, it's time to see how far we are from that accumulate amount. 
let's just say that my career makes me about $5,000 per month and my rental side business makes me about $1,500 per month in profit. Let's calculate my spending and expenses. I like to follow the 50-30-20 rule, 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings. With this idea, I would be saving $1,300 per month, not nearly enough to get to that house every year. So if I were to keep the same standard of living, I would need to make $25,000 per month using side hustles. The other way which I prefer is to save more money. Even if I was to bump my savings to 50%, I could reallocate 40% to needs and 10% to wants. That way, I would only need to make $10,000 per month. Well, now that I'm already making $6,500 per month and being 65% of the way there, adding more side hustles and making up the extra $4,500 seems a little bit easier using side hustles and definitely more achievable. The last thing to do is to prolong the goal. Of course, this isn't the most ideal thing to do. Sometimes it just has to be. By saving 50% of the $6,500 of income, it will take 18 months to have enough for a down payment. Lots of decisions to make. Do I sacrifice time, savings, or get another job? Moving on to the question of what am I doing? My total income between my career and my side hustle is about $5,000. About 26% of my income goes to my needs and 10% of my income goes to my wants. Therefore, I save about 64% of my income to buy my next house or that is my accumulate number. With that accumulation rate, I can buy a new house approximately every 13 months. Life does throw in curveballs at times though, like things breaking down and other things like our budget exceeding what we expected. The government of Canada has created this simple financial goal planner that I use all the time just to calculate my number, ensure things are still on track, and to quickly calculate best and worst case scenarios. I highly recommend that if you want to get the accumulate part of the ASH method down, that you try this or something similar out. It's so important to work towards something financially and to secure the future. Right now, I'm in the hunt for my first ever fourplex. This goes to show how a little dedication can go a long way. I hope you enjoyed the accumulate part of the ASH method. Tell me, once you have calculated your number, how long it will take you to reach your next goal. This way, I can help you keep track of your goals. Join me at the Daddy Debt Facebook group to talk more about what you're doing to accumulate well. Thanks for watching. If you would like to hear more budgeting, engineering, or real estate tips, please leave a comment down below on what you want to hear. Smash that like button, subscribe button, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos every week on Mondays and Thursdays. From the Ash Management Group, this is Daddy Debt saving you money.